The recent legalization of the drug cannabis has taken the medical community by storm. What was once a recreational drug is now being used to treat various health conditions, most prominently pain. Miracle stories regarding cannabis have become more common than ever. However, the efficacy of cannabis in clinical settings remains unclear. This is precisely what this video serves to address. To answer this, we will take a look into how cannabis works by analyzing the endocannabinoid system. Then we will delve into the existing literature regarding the efficacy of cannabis in pain relief, specifically in the context of cancer patients, as well as looking at cannabis as a potential biomarker for immunotherapy. The endocannabinoid system is a widespread neuromodulatory system that has a critical role in the human body, typically maintaining homeostasis. Endocannabinoids are mediated primarily by CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors, with CB1 receptors existing in abundance in the brain, whereas CB2 receptors are primarily expressed in immune cells and the hematopoietic system. This system also consists of endocannabinoids and enzymes for synthesis and degradation. Endocannabinoids, which are naturally created by the body, are lipid-based signaling molecules that modulate the endocannabinoid system by binding to cannabinoid receptors. Typically, neurotransmitters such as gamma-aminobutyric acid or GABA are released from the presynaptic neuron and bind to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron, triggering their unique modulatory pathway. The endocannabinoid system is different as it is a retrograde system, which means endocannabinoids are released from the postsynaptic neuron and bind to the CB1 receptors on the presynaptic neuron. This binding event causes the release of excitatory or inhibitory neurotransmitters, which can cause an upregulation or downregulation of specific functions in the body, respectively. In the case of pain regulation using medicinal cannabis, cannabinoids are introduced into the bloodstream and bind to CB1 receptors on the presynaptic neuron, which causes an upregulation of GABA, signaling brain nerves to reduce pain. Now that we understand the endocannabinoid system, we will have a better idea of processing how cannabis relieves pain when administered to patients in clinical settings. Disclaimer: Before we delve into the existing literature, it is worth noting that cannabis research in terms of medicinal treatment is scarce and has only recently become an area of focus. Many studies report contrasting results, perhaps due to inappropriate dosing guidelines or inadequate sample sizes, which may subsequently lead to inaccurate conclusions. This video is not intended for self-diagnosis purposes. Please consult your physician to see if cannabis treatment is right for you. With that being said, let's look into a systematic review which summarized five primary research papers on cannabis treatment in patients. In the majority of the studies, the oral mucosal spray Navaximol, which includes both cannabidiol or CBD and tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, proved to have better pain management than the placebo and in one study even codeine. Only one study reported contrasting results, which were deemed statistically insignificant due to an insufficient sample size. The review did highlight how interpatient variability, along with the complex symptomology, made it difficult to accurately determine if side effects arose solely because of cannabis or from concurrent medication. In a study by Macari and Company in 2018, a self-reporting system was used in 188 oncology patients of the Baymont Hospital in Michigan where 46 out of the 188 patients used medicinal cannabis to manage pain symptoms. From these 46 patients, pain, appetite, and anxiety was found to significantly improve, with pain being the most rep frequently reported improvement. Similar results were seen in a Quebec study by Vigano and company, where patients reported significant improvement in pain severity from using medicinal cannabis. In another study, medicinal cannabis did lead to a significant decrease in both tumor progression and overall survival. However, there were adverse effects seen in using cannabis before and during immunotherapy. This is due to the fact that cannabis does lead to a reduced lymphocyte count, which increases the likelihood of immune infection, especially in immunocompromised patients. However, these findings were beneficial as they allowed researchers to investigate whether cannabis could be a potential clinical marker for patient responsiveness to immunotherapy since the microenvironments of CD1 and CD2 receptors alter in different environments, making them a key indicator. The importance of microenvironments in terms of tumor progression has also been supported in other studies which suggest that different tumor types would need different cannabis treatment catered to that respective microenvironment. 
To summarize, from the research that we explored, we can conclude that in the context of cancer treatment, medicinal cannabis has proven to aid in the alleviation of pain symptoms, but not without the risk of some adverse effects and potential immunocompromisation. In addition, the CB1 and CB2 receptor changes in different microenvironments of cancerous tumors can be used as a biomarker to indicate whether a patient could benefit from or adequately respond to cannabis treatments. As mentioned before, the research regarding cannabis as an effective medicinal intervention is scarce, and the conclusions made in different studies are largely inconsistent. Therefore, more research needs to be done before confirming with certainty whether medicinal cannabis can be a prospective treatment. Even though some studies do seem promising, we must be conscious that this is a relatively new field of research that needs more time and rigorous investigation to reap concrete results. We advise our viewers not to self-medicate with cannabis, and if you think you require medicinal cannabis, consult your local healthcare provider to see if it is the right intervention for you.